All links and common questions related to this video will be in the video description. You can help support these video tutorials by rating the video or commenting. Hey guys, in this video I'll be reviewing an old speed math program I made. It's only 32k, it's very very tiny, and I put the source code on SourceForge, so if you want to download the source code and see how I made the program in Flash, then you can do that. But uh, I say speed math, but you can make it as easy or as hard as you want, it's actually very simple. For example, let's get started with Edition Basics. I click Edition Basics, and it says Type 1 to start. I type 1, and automatically it gives me a problem. And then I have to answer that problem. Let's say 10, 14. After I type in the solution, it automatically accepts and gives me a new problem. Whoa, I missed one. And uh, as you can see, there's a little bar. It says how much time I'm taking. Basically when it gets to the end nothing really happens but that's the recommended amount of time for the current level. As you increase, as you get better times, you get a certain amount of stars. The faster you answer the questions, the more stars you get. Also if the time thing is annoying, let me start again. Start a new thing, I just click it, and then I'm going to type 1 to start. If you find this annoying and distracting, you can hide the time, hide the timer, and just work through the problems without the stress of having to deal with the time. Also I have a keypad here. You can use the keypad if you feel more comfortable. You can also restart the level using the keypad if you feel you want to retry again if you spent too much time on a problem. If you enter a wrong solution and you can't figure out what's the correct solution, you can click show answer and it'll tell you the answer. You can delete the equal space thing and uh, it'll accept it if you want to skip the problem or something. Also, the keypad, it has a backspace pretty much. You can go back one thing using this button. By default, the number of questions asked is 10, but you can change the default to 100 or, if you're insane, 1. And it'll tell you how many stars you've collected in total out of all the tutorials and give you a skill title. If the keypad is distracting, you can actually close it using this thing or clicking the keypad on or off button. So you can enable and disable it here. Also, if you want to generate custom quizzes, you can go to practice. Click practice. For example, a lot of kids have to memorize their multiplication tables from 3 to 12, or if you just want to brush up on them. And you can set the time limit to whatever. Again, if the show time is disabled and show meter is disabled it won't be a problem you can set it as much as you want I'm gonna click multiply you can also set divide subtract and addition and start practice so I can start memorizing my multiplication tables again um, and I can just go through the problems here okay I just did a whole bunch of problems and I just want to show the best times and slowest times feature. Obviously it lists by best times and slowest times, but it formats it like this. Uh, question 29, I finished it in 1.5 seconds, it was my slowest time, and this was the question. So you can kind of see repeats, uh, so you can maybe practice the ones you take longer to finish. And you can just scroll up and scroll down, since uh, it can't list all of the questions in just this section. And you can also click the Q button and it'll order your question by number, like first question, second question, third question. So it'll conveniently organize them on the slowest times and then you can see if you slow down or sped up. You can download this program by clicking the link in the description and if you want to screen record your fastest time then go ahead, I'll set up some kind of scoreboard in the description. Anyways, thanks for listening guys. You can see a full list of my videos by going to youtube.jimmyr.com. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Anyways, thanks for listening.